Pursuing health without restriction, deprivation, diets, food rules, self-control and willpower is what I'm all about. Now hearing that at first might sound a little bit confusing since that is kind of the only pathway we've been taught to achieve health. It's either that or throw in the towel, screw it, I'll just eat whatever I want, whenever I want, extreme that usually comes from feeling so frustrated and overwhelmed with diets or restriction or self-control you're trying not working. So the pathway that I live, you know, my own life on and coach my clients on isn't typically talked about in mainstream like diets are thanks to the $70 billion diet industry. And today I want to clear up three common misconceptions about that that may be holding you back from trying something different to finally get those results that you've been wanting and working towards for so long. So the first common misconception is because I don't help clients actively pursue weight loss, it means that I am anti-weight loss. And that's not true. I actually don't care if your body loses weight, but I don't make that a focus of my coaching because all long-term studies that have been done show that the active pursuit of weight loss not only fails, but often backfires for the vast majority of people. So as a coach, why would I do that? So with my approach, if your body has weight to lose, it will still come off, but it will actually stay off without having to force it. And also be sure to unlink health from weight because they are not one and the same. And if you think they are, definitely check out the book Health at Every Size. Now, the second common misconception is that since I don't have my clients cut any type of food from their life, like I don't tell them to stop eating sugar or stop eating fast food, that means that I must encourage people to eat what diet culture considers junk food. So research shows what we restrict persists. So the more we try to cut and restrict things, the more we actually want them. When we have full permission to eat what we want when we want it, the allure and the sense of urgency massively dissipates and change in our choices can actually happen naturally and organically. And that is actually sustainable and 100% what I am about. So the third misconception is that because I'm anti-diet, it means that I'm anti-health. Total no on this one. Working towards health and developing sustainable, enjoyable, healthy behaviors is literally what I am about. I look at health in a holistic way, including and beyond just what we eat and how we move our body. Because at the end of the day, you can eat all the kale in the world and exercise every single day, but if you still have a crappy relationship with food and still have a terrible body image, if you're not sleeping well and not doing anything for the pure just fun of it, that's not healthy and that will not bring you happiness. My mind body food method touches all things health and wellness through a lens of self-compassion, body respect and kindness and true empowerment. So if this sounds intriguing to you, let's set up a free mini session to chat and get you on your path to success. PM me to book.